This video is sponsored by Juwin Tech. Hey guys, Irene here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm doing a studio photo shoot in my small living room with two gorgeous models, Eve and Morgana. Both of them are actually amazing artists. Eve sings and paints. Her art is so, so beautiful. And Morgana is also a photographer with a really cool style. So definitely check out both of them. They are amazing. For my lights, I will be using the Juin Mollus G200 LED lights and their parabolic soft boxes. I will also talk a little bit about why I personally prefer to use LED lights instead of flashes for portraits, so let's get started. For the first look, I started with models sitting on the stool and I positioned my light to the left, a bit higher than their faces, and I angled it down about 45 degrees or so. I also feathered the light a bit, meaning instead of the light hitting the models directly, it's shifted a bit to the side. You can see it better with this diagram. This would be more direct and this would be more feathered light. I like feathered lighting because it's softer and it makes the background darker, but this is never an exact science for me and I adjust the light a lot during the photo shoot. I can make it more or less feathered depending on my liking. The outfits and the jewelry are thrifted, of course, as usual, and the backdrops I'm using will be linked in the description. They are from Kate Backdrops. Ooh, what if, you know what, uh, Morgan, put your hand down. You both just hold hands at here at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's really nice. Yes, that's beautiful. Ooh, I like having your hand peek just a little bit. Maybe lower? Yeah. Yes, that's gorgeous, you guys. I also took some pictures with the Canon RP and the 50mm 1.8 lens. I just wanted to show you guys a little comparison between the more high-end setup that I normally use and something a bit more affordable. Let me know which one you like better. I think they're very, very comparable. I tried to edit them as close as I could. When it comes to studio work, you definitely don't need the most expensive lenses and cameras. The thing that matters the most is actually the lighting. So let's talk about it. I mentioned earlier that I'm using Juin Mollus G200 LED lights. This is my first time using them and my first impression was, wow, this light is tiny, super light, 2.2 kilograms to be exact. And this is definitely the smallest LED light with this kind of power that I've ever used, which is amazing since I'm pretty small and handling big bulky lights is hard for me sometimes. So I paired it with the Juin 90 centimeter parabolic soft box. It's Bowens mount, just like the light, super easy to assemble and disassemble. It's big, produces beautiful soft light, and these kind of soft boxes are definitely my favorites for portraits. What I love about LED lights in general is how easy they are to use. And essentially for this one, you just have two buttons here, one controlling the power and the other for temperature. You can also control these with your phone through Bluetooth and ZY Vega app. I definitely would recommend a light like this to someone who's just learning studio lighting because it's just so easy to use. You really don't need a manual for these lights. And this is the first reason why I personally prefer LED lights over strobe or flash. It's just extremely easy to use and I totally recommend it for beginners. Yes. Maybe just a little bit lower with the chin. Just a little bit. Yes, yes, yeah, that is perfect. Actually, I'm gonna lower the light. Yeah, that's better. Oh, Morgan, what if your hand, what if you, yeah, what if you like, no, what if you grab her? Yes, yes, right there, it's nice. Yeah, I like that, yeah. What if, I don't know if it's possible to have like the strap a little bit off. Is it gonna just fully fall down? Probably. I can like keep my hand up. Ooh, that's kind of nice actually. I do like that. Yeah, I do like that. Okay, now I just need to change a few settings here. One sec, you guys. Okay, there we go. Oh, beauty. 
Ci piace il suono. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. What if you almost put your head on top of her head? Maybe like a little bit on the side. No. Then you're mimicking hers. Can you try to go with the other way? Yes. With the other hand. Yeah. 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 That's perfect. I'm just this one more close. Yeah. Yes. That's really nice. Is it possible here to have a little bit off? And just get closer to her so it's like almost <laughs> here first get close to her so it like you know what i mean so almost her she's like in the she's like almost holding your dress if that makes sense now oh you know what maybe if you go a little bit higher because i really want to do like the head on top of a head yes yeah 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 because i want to do it like really uh Cut the, oh, one more thing, the knees. It's possible to cover them for this shot. All right, and then like, like literally rest your head on top of hers, but turn it towards me. Yes, yes. Okay, let's see. Oh, the only thing, oh, because you're, uh, put your hand on, under her hair. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's beautiful, you guys. And then just one more thing, Morgana, your other hand, put it over somewhere. No, maybe, no, no, maybe like somewhere below. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. That's the shot, you guys. That's very pretty. Reason number two for using LEDs, it's constant light. So you don't have to take a picture to actually see the result. You are seeing it the whole time. And I find it a lot easier and faster to adjust the position of the light with LEDs rather than strobes. Plus, it's great for both photo and video. And nowadays, us photographers have to learn how to make a great video content for social media. And I love that with LEDs, I can easily switch from taking pictures to taking beautiful behind the scenes footage. Okay, let's now get you both sitting on the floor. So we'll get rid of the ta the chair. Yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous, you guys. And we're gonna look at me. Oh, wow. You guys, that's so pretty. I think you're slightly, you bring your face towards me just a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Yes, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Your hand, Morgana. P keep it. <laughs> keep, yes. Oh, yeah. Something maybe like that. That's that was actually very nice. But not like this. More together, like your fingers. Yeah. Or maybe it was no. Actually, it's don't worry about that because it's all kind of wrinkly. It looks fine. I think you're going too much like forward. Yes. Uh, and your hand a little bit more closer. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Just like simple. And get closer to each other again. Yeah.
you might have noticed that the hand changed in before and after you see I love the shot I took before I asked Morgana to change the hand position so I just decided to crop out the good hand out of a picture that I didn't really like but I like the hand and I pasted it onto the picture that I really loved but I didn't like the hand there <laughs> sometimes limb replacement just saves a great picture and that's another reason why I like to take a lot of pictures during the photo shoot you never know when you might need something thinking maybe your hand now if you want actually ooh, yeah that does look really nice I think the light on Morgana just looks slightly like I need to put it like this. A little bit more. Yeah, there we go. That's nicer, I think. Oh yeah. You guys, that's so beautiful. next shots I decided to add one more light I'm just using another G200 but this time with a smaller softbox at first I put it behind the models on the right side but then I quickly changed it to fully behind and above the backdrop I made it as warm as I can for some color contrast and I think I used it at around 20% power this created beautiful soft hair light very subtle but still helps to separate the model from the background and create some visual interest but if you put, put your turn your face more towards me Morgan like more yes 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 like this ooh and then oh your hand put it like in front here yes maybe just a little bit less yes oh that is gorgeous right there and then is it possible for you to fully like put your head like on oh that's really nice but grab that hair yes yes mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, okay don't move don't move i'm just gonna move your hair a little bit okay if, what if your hand is like more like Right here. Yes, 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 where I can see it more. Yes. And what if you put your head almost like, yeah, yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> Luna, you're ruining our photo shoot. Get out. If you're wondering how I'm filling in the background in some of these before and afters, I'm just using content aware fill mostly and sometimes generative fill. So let me know if you'd like a tutorial on that. Reason number three why I prefer LED lights and some of you might argue with me on that but I find it to be a lot softer than flash or strobe. Sure you can get very similar look with either but I find that I have to work a lot harder with strobes to achieve that look rather than when I use LED lights. As someone that loves natural light I find LEDs to look the most natural. That's crazy. What if you put both hands kind of like like this, like closer, kind of? Mm-hmm. 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 Yes, that's very, very beautiful. Oh my God, oh, that's absolutely gorgeous. one minus to using LED lights. Most of the time they're just not as powerful as flash or strobe. This particular light worked great for me because I normally shoot around f2 to 2.8 in the studio but if you want to shoot around f8 and up LEDs might not be a good choice for you. Very beautiful. I think what if you put it slightly on yeah what if you do it on the other side I think. Leave the other half like on yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, that's beautiful. Oh, wow.
What if you put the hair now on both sides? Mm hmm Yeah. Just for the close-up. Ooh, that's really nice. That's really cool. Oh, wow. I love that. Yeah, like, like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's beautiful. And look down here. Oh my god. What if you hold it with your hand? Yes. And twist your body towards me a little bit more. Yes, yes. There we go, there we go. Hmm. With this other hand, maybe like, maybe on... Yes, I actually like that better, I think. Because it's almost like a little bit too... Just think, you know what? Don't think about what I'm saying. Think what is like relaxing just for you to sit, like how you would, and that's beautiful. There we go. Yeah, literally that's gorgeous. And chin down just a little bit. And eyes at me. There we go, that's absolutely gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Wow, okay, that's absolutely gorgeous. So here, Perfect. I'm kind of now shooting like your knees as well. If you can move these knees a little bit, like, no, the other way, the other way, kind of like, yes, like actually that's really pretty. Maybe put them down so you're more comfortable. Yes, just like, yeah. There we go. Oh, oh, that's so gorgeous. Oh, I love that. What if, is it possible to like put even here, like with your legs, even a little bit more? Ooh, maybe that's no no put them how you had them before yeah that's re that's really nice that's really nice yes that's really pretty oh oh I love that I love 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 so now here the only thing with the hand because yeah that's much better that's much nicer yeah, you can just like grab onto the neck oh no yes 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 they okay, stay like that I need to be just a little bit further. holy shit Oh my god, Morgan, that's such a beautiful shot. Wow. And just look down a little bit more. And look, just your eyes at me, yes. Oh my god. We should totally do like the back. The shame, yes. Down the back yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Let's let's do that. Let's do the. I'm dying. Looking at it from her and the chain going down oh. the back from this angle. Oh. So we should totally do like the back. The shame, yes. Down the back yeah. So yeah. Good. Yeah. Let's let's do that. Let's do the. I'm dying. Looking at it from her and like. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Just literally like that. No, no, it's not. Oh, but the little tag is. Uh, that's absolutely gorgeous. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. What? What if you do? Ooh, mm -hmm. yes. 
And it was nice when you had like the whole, yes, yes, that's very beautiful, that's very beautiful. No, I don't like it. No, ooh, ooh, that's really nice. And more, but you will have to go more like forward, even more, so like really like curvy, back, it's like this, yes, yes. Stay there, I'm just gonna move those chains a little bit more towards my side. Go. Yes. And look at me. So this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Huge thank you to Juin for sponsoring today's video. Uh, also big thanks to my beautiful models. Definitely check them out. I will link them in the description. I will also link everything that you need in the description like the lights, the modifiers, the backdrops that I used, the camera equipment that I used. So don't forget to check that out. Uh, give this video a like. If you liked it, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!